So I, I want to talk to you today about the power of thoughts. Thought is defined as the creation, recalling, reviewing, and processing of images for meaning, reason, language, and expression. So you look at in thought, there are different things that go on. One, creation. So you can use your thought and create. You create. So you can start thinking about something that, that doesn't exist yet. So you are creating, that's your imagination. Now you recall, you're using your thought now to recall something that has happened. So this can be an event. This can be a word that was saying, said to you, something that happened in the past. So you use your thought to recall, then review something that happened. And now you're playing it back with your thoughts to review it, to review it. Then processing, you're processing now that thought because you are reviewing your processing. And the processing of these images, now take note of this, it didn't say processing of words, it says processing of images. The reason is because when you hear words, words don't come to you as letters. Your ear hears words, but your mind creates images of the words that you heard. So your mind works with images. Your mind works with images. Your spirit works with words. But when words go to your mind, they are converted to images. Uh, look at this. God comes walking in the garden. Adam heard his voice and Adam ran away. And God said, who's, who's, who told you? I mean, God asked Adam, where are you? And Adam said, hey, I'm naked. I heard your voice. I heard your voice and I went to hide myself. Because I'm naked. Then God said, who told you? Who told you? What words did you allow get into your ear gates? This behavior of hiding from me came from what you heard. Just imagine that. This action of hiding, running away from my presence, came from something you heard. Then it came from your understanding, your processing of that thing that you heard. Who told you you're naked? How come you're running from me? So you processed it. Then you've seen that I'm going to judge you. You've seen that you've done something wrong. And the best thing to do is to hide from me to hide your nakedness so the behavior was the result of how adam processed what he heard so these processing these reviewing these recalling and this creation is for something one meaning two reason three language and four expression Now, as we delve further into the subject, you see that thoughts are pictures of the mind. Look at that. Thoughts are pictures of the mind with constructive or destructive possibilities. You should write this down. Thoughts are pictures of the mind with constructive and destructive or, or I think all will be more appropriate. Thoughts are pictures of the mind with constructive or, or destructive possibilities functioning with or within human emotions. Uh, you know, uh, when I was talking, I think it was on, on Wednesday, I was sharing and I was saying the month of visualization. I said, you must remember that whether you know it or not, you've been, you've been functioning by visualization. The only difference here is that we're bringing this to you so that you can consciously, consciously visualize to create and construct, not destroy. You know, not destroy because you can use visualization to um, destroy. You know, you can use visualization to destroy. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, if you if you're past 30 and maybe past 40 40 you can look back and identify certain experiences that you had when you were younger 
maybe you were in secondary school and you wanted to go into the university and you wrote your first jam and somehow you didn't get the admission that year i can imagine you you were crying you were so sad you know you felt horrible in fact you you may have been telling someone i feel like dying i don't want to live again but now at 40 you look back and you're wondering what in the world was i doing why why was i even crying because suddenly you're seeing that that thing that happened wasn't the worst thing that could have happened your reaction from uh, your reaction to it may not have been the most appropriate reaction but why were you reacting that way why were you reacting that way so thoughts can destroy thoughts can construct and God and we're learning this so that we can consciously use our mind because your mind is a tool use your mind for construction you know one of the things that pastor said during the communion service is that you must consciously remove from your mind remove from your thinking processes any thought that will not help you construct the life and circumstances that you want is that you must remove them you must consciously remove them you you must refuse to entertain those thoughts you must refuse to entertain those thoughts they have the ability to influence your emotions you need to understand that your emotions come from thoughts fear as an emotion does not stand alone every emotion is connected to a thought every emotion is collected connected to a thought so your thoughts have emotions and emotions is emotion that is energy in motion energy in motion so your thoughts can influence your emotion